Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Fall Vanish and welcome to Kerbal Space Program and today we are going to be, well I'm going to be showing you guys how to get to the moon using the McJeb uh, mod. This mod is really fun to use guys, um, it's pretty badass. Uh, this rocket design by the way was not made by me, I uh, threw this together really quickly for the video. Um, I do like to make my own, do not get me wrong, uh, I love this game. Um, but yeah, so I just threw this together and uh, I'm going to show you guys, if you guys want to see how to build it, um, I guess I can show you, but it isn't my design, so I can't take credit for it. But uh, if you guys want me to build it for you, I will, and I will link the original in the description. But if you don't, that is A-OK, -okay, because this video is not about that. So, um, basically, yeah, but before we go, I want to thank everyone, each and every one of you that watches my videos, likes my videos, or subscribes, because we hit 100 subscribers. I know it's not that big of a milestone compared to today, today's YouTube standards, um, PewDiePie just hit like 40, 40 million, but who gives a shit, right? This is awesome for me, so thank you guys so much. Um, if you guys want to see it, make, blah, blah, blah. if you guys want me to make a video dedicated to it, let me know. Uh, I don't have quite enough comments yet to do like a Q&A or anything along those, uh, lines, but if you guys want to see something, definitely let me know. Alright, but let's get going, so, we're going to start out by pressing M to go into the map viewer, and, uh, let's just go ahead and set the moon as, the, or the moon as a target. Um, I have not actually gone to any other planets quite yet. <laughs> Elu would be crazy. Um, Jewel, that's just, you know, that's pretty far-fetched and out there. So, uh, we're just gonna stick with the moon. I've almost made it to Minmus. Actually, Minmus, I mean. Um, I've actually have made it, but hopefully, I'm begging that in this video my landing, um, guidance doesn't glitch up because, uh, it's been happening where it just, just, makes me go batshit crazy. But alright, let's get started. So we want to go into orbit first, and using the um, McJab, you're going to open up Ascent and Guidance, and set your orbit altitude. Um, we'll only go to about, actually, let's let's raise this to about 500. And, um, yeah, so we have the moon set as a target. Um, we want to engage the autopilot. Um, oh, we have to reset the moon because of that. And uh, launch rendezvous. I don't know what to launch into plane of target does, but I just always do launch rendezvous. Um, it'll do the time warps for you. Everything will be done for you, which is this. Basically, this mod makes it a little bit more realistic because um, for real space, it's all computer programmed. I mean, if you go into the view, you know, you can't. The real pilots, or not pilots, but real um, astronauts can't really see. It's all basically computer programmed. Not all of it, but. So, yeah, so uh, it'll set the time for you. The perfect time set the moon is right in the spot it needs it to be to uh, get there and uh, yeah so alright now T minus it'll stop the warp at about 15 seconds and count down so 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 alright let's go let's go let's go alright so we are off um hold on let me turn down my um my uh, volume a little bit here. Hello, hello, volume. Um, maybe not. Okay, hopefully it's too loud. I'm gonna really hope it's not too loud. It really does sound like it's too loud, though. Hang on a second. Should have thought of this before. Is this? Oh yeah, this is audio. I'm so dumb. I wasn't. I was just like thinking and looking at. Yeah, I don't know. All right, apply, accept. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hopefully this is better. So. Let's go ahead and uh, explain what is happening. So, we have four rockets on the sides and one in the middle. They're all going off right now, but they're all feeding fuel into the um, middle rocket. That way it never runs out from um, these... Fuck, I forget what they're called. Ah, oh, shit, I forget. But, um, basically we have the T-85 or 88, something. The decoupler's right here. That, um, once these two... I think it's these two. Run out of fuel, they will automatically detach, and um, all their fuel is being put to the other ones. Because these two are whichever ones attached first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's these two. We'll find out in any second. But uh, they are constantly putting their fuel into the middle one. So, yeah, there they go. And now we're left with these two, which have full fuel. They all three you, all three have full fuel. But the edge two will run out first, and then the middle one will have full fuel again. So, you're just going to want to let this go. Actually, let me turn on my lights and put um, RCS on. Um, a lot. I have a more lights on, down here. It'll get brighter once we, uh, these two get lo- get little. Once these two get detached. So, um, now that my RCS is on, it will be a little bit easier for, t for the turning. I have the RCS fuel right there, and then the, um, the actual things right there. And then just lights. 
um, McJab atta <coughs> attachment right there. Um, I got my landing gear and batteries and then just making fuel and stuff like that. So basically all we do is now is all we do now is wait. You can see our little takeoff zone is down there. But um this will take us into the perfect orbit of Kerman. But like I said, we're trying to get to the moon, so um hopefully this will work. If my landing shit doesn't screw up, we will be in good shape. If it does, I'm just not gonna be able to land on the moon. Um, and I'll have to figure that out, hopefully, but, uh, it, this does work, it has worked for me before, I don't know why it doesn't right now, it's just deciding not to. So, now it's just a matter of waiting for it to, um, be done with its ascent, it'll tell you what it is doing, the status of it, right now it's in gravity turn, alright, there we go, so now, all the, um, wait, are the lights on or off? We'll leave, oh, there, okay, we'll leave them off for now, because it's not making much of a difference, uh, it tells you the status of it, and as you see, the other two, um, fuels, um, pods or fuel containers, whatever, um, got detached, and now it is just a single, um, rocket. Now, once this runs out, um, there will be one more decouple up here, or one more decoupler that'll let all this go, and then another rocket in there <clears throat> for the final adjustments. Um, yeah, so this rocket's only to get to the, um, moon, not to get back. But yeah, so um, once this is done with the gravity turn, which should be coming up soon, um, it's just going to actually auto-warp us all the way to um, basically the perfect spot for the moon. So um, yeah, we're just kind of waiting. Um, set the moon as your target, let it put you into orbit, and then um, yeah. So uh, once this is done, we'll uh, just let this go. For, it should be done pretty soon, actually. Um, we did set it to go pretty high up. 500 kilometers is pretty damn high. But um yeah, so, alright, it's doing the camera adjustment, because we are, uh, just exited the atmosphere, basically, so, uh, here we go, we are out of the atmosphere, guys, we are in open space, the moon is right there, but, um, we're not ready for that yet, so, uh, yeah, um, we're just still waiting, <clears throat> god damn, um, sorry, I'm a little sick right now, but our apoapsis is, um, up there, we are on the other side, actually, so we're just trying to get around and then hit the apoapsis, and, uh, there we go, so, now it's just coasting to the edge of the atmosphere, which it will speed up, as you can see up here, and put it into two time, or the second warp setting. Uh, I forget what times warp that is. And, uh, yeah, so now we're just cruising around the Earth. I don't know if you guys can see our little continent right there. I don't know what that is in Kerbin, but, um, now it is actually finishing up the, um, last couple burns. Um, so yeah, it's gonna burn in 20 minutes, which, like I said, it will auto-warp once it gets to, um, the exact angle it needs to be. Now stability controls on, it's warping at 50 times, 90, oh that was 90, 100, or something like that, I forget, now I don't remember. Okay, but it'll do all this for you, it'll get you to the perfect time, and then it will actually move. Now you see where the apoapsis and, uh, or apoapsis is, uh, in the, ro the, um, orbit around the Kerbin. So, um, that's, yeah, so now it's trying to put you into this orbit, but uh, we will change that once this is done. Um, once it says engage autopilot again, it is done. So now this is going to burn for 10 more seconds perfectly for us. And then we should be just about done. So um, the moon right now is back here. We're on the other side. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to create a path that will perfectly line up somewhere. And uh, yeah, so alright, let's let this burn a tiny bit longer. And boom, now it is done. So we'll leave this open so that um, auto stage stays on. And we'll open up the maneuver planner. Now we need to put this back to Hoff or whatever. Ho, ho, ho man, I don't know. And um, is the moon still marked? Yes, it is. Create and execute. And now we see that it creates this perfect thing that it will go and it shows right here the moon encounter. So um, now it's going to, like I said, keep auto warping. That just needs to get to the blue thing. To uh, Well, I forget what that's called actually. The blue thing is the uh, maneuver, it's just a maneuver. So um, now it's going to auto warp again so that we're in the perfect location for this. And it's trying to set it up so that this blue thing, the path you're going to travel, will change to the, what the orange thing is. So it's basically sending you in the perfect location for that to happen. So we're going to get, we're going to spring around that way and get in front of the moon and wait for the encounter. And uh, that's just exactly what's happening now. So there we go, it's going to burn for 33 seconds, which I don't think I'll have enough fuel for that. So we'll have to um, let go of my back here, which we will watch, um, and yeah. And then uh, here we'll turn our lights on now. Oh, no. 
Oh, I forgot to save. I had more lights in the back. Damn, that's a bummer. Whatever. Um, but yeah, so it's gonna burn. Um, it's just about out of fuel. Let's let the back go. I don't know why it explodes right there, but it does keep it going. Nothing explodes. Sometimes it does let that go. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if that's mine my uh, problem but uh, I had to actually press space there and it exploded off nothing got exploded the landing gear is fine the engine is fine but yeah so I mean auto stage is on so I don't uh, I don't know um so yeah alright so here we are it is done with this maneuver planner because now our path is perfect so let's go ahead and speed up the warp a little bit here all right, we'll slow it, yeah, speed it back up. All right, and turn it back down. Now, once you get, yeah, let's put it to about a hundred. Actually, we'll go a thousand. Once you get right here, your um, your the atmosphere you're in is going to change, so your path is now going to go this way. So once it's like that, there it is, perfect. So we'll get it a little bit closer. Right about there, perfect. Now turn our um thing or our um warp all the way down and boom there's a moon so we've made it this far so far um that's weird to say we made it this far so far all right now here's the scariest part <laughs> open up landing guidance and uh just click land somewhere and um it's gonna turn you around to face the moon it's gonna do everything for you um hopefully guys i'm hoping um like i said it's been a little glitchy for me but um if everything goes to plan, it should do it. If not, you guys will see what happens. And if you know why this is happening, please let me know. So um, each time the warp slows down, it's making an adjustment. Um, let's see, how much more monopropellant fuel do we have? Go away. Go away. Oh, oh we have plenty. Okay. So we have enough RCS and all that junk to um, make us, you know, like, make the adjustments faster. Um, RCS is definitely something you want. Um... As you see those little smoke things that look like they're coming out steam, those are actually adjusting. That's why it keeps uh, the time warp keeps going like speeding up and then immediately back because it's doing little adjustments here and there. So um, this part is the longest, well not the longest, but the most tedious because now you're just waiting for this finally to hit and yeah, like I said, um, and here's the when you escape the atmosphere out there. Um, hopefully this goes well, guys. I don't know. We're gonna f we're gonna see. Um, yeah, where's Minmus right now? Where is that? That's, that's actually right behind the moon, so we won't be able to see it. It's a little bit up. Maybe we can if we look that way. Where is it? Can you see it here? Nah, we can't see it. Um, but yeah, alright. Now we're just, like I said, waiting for this to hit up. Um, and yeah, so, let's see. How close are we now? We're getting really close there. Um, our... Um, our actual path that the gravity will take us is um, right through the moon. So we're coming in contact with it whether we want to or not. I mean, I guess we could influence it by flying away. But um, the problem with being up here in space is that... Um, oh boy, here it goes. See, it starts to like glitch out. It just starts to do this, and I can't put anything on to stop it. All right, let's see. Show landing predict predictions. Um... Can we can we turn RCS off? Will that fix it? No, I don't think so. Oh wait, maybe it does. Hang on a second. Is RCS the reason? All right, it's putting us down. Here we are. No, that's not the reason. See? Oh, hey, hey, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Please do it. It's like, it's trying. It's trying, but it just... Ah, see what's happening? Hmm. Can it do it? Hang on. Let's see if it does it here. I have RCS off right now. Because I'm curious if it'll do it without um, RCS. And uh, a parachute can't go off in space because there's nothing to cling on to. There's no air, basically, that it will drag. Alright, let's see. Will the landing gear go down? Please, God. Work. Alright, RCS is on. Oh, boy. So you might have to just kind of tinker with the RCS on and off. Oh, jeez. We're coming down hot, honestly. 
Oh shit, this isn't gonna go well, I don't think. Landing gear's down, hang on. We're dead. <laughs> God damn, I'm not sure why that happens, guys. Um It could be my um It could be my uh actual um here, hang on. Let's revert the flight to vehicle assembly. It could be my um vessel, but I I, I don't think it is. Hang on, let's see, let's go closer to it. Um, I the reason I don't think it is is because I this exact one I've had work before and now it's just not. Right, we don't need this. Actually, nah, keep this on. It's fine. Um, like I said, this exact vessel has actually made it all the way up. So I, the fact that it's not working now is a mystery to me. But that is how you do it, guys. So I mean, like I said, I was warning you in the beginning. You might not be able to see it, and that's just. I don't know. Um, that's because the stupid McJab. Nah, it's not stupid. I'm just fucking around. But um, it, it's for some reason not wanting to work right now. So if you guys have any ideas why that is, please let me know in the description. Um, I've been trying to figure it out, but um, I'm not sure. Well, hang on. Let's look in the settings here of the landing assistance one more time. All right. Um, touchdown speed point five. That should be. That's fine. Like. Okay, C pad, pick target on map. We had already picked the moon. Um, that shouldn't matter. Show error break mode, show trajectory. Um, yeah, none of this should honestly matter. Um, if you guys have any ideas why this is, um, definitely let me know. Well, just land somewhere, just work. Nah, it doesn't work. We'll just uh, let this go back up into the space as I outro. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully this helped, because, uh, like I said, this did work in the beginning. It could be my vessel, so uh, this might not be the best thing to use. Um, I wish I could have shown a, su a successful one, but <laughs> that did not go well. So, um, yeah, it's it's whatever. Here, let's, uh, you know what, screw this shit. So, oh, I didn't have um, autopilot on. We'll just take off ourselves here. Um, oh, why did the parachute just open? Can we get rid of this? Cut parachute, yeah. Alright, get rid of that shit. We don't even need it. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. I mean, we could try to do this on our own, but I am not that good at this game yet. So that probably would not be the best case. Turn RCS and stability control on. But um, yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Um, hopefully this helped, like I said. Um, if it did, definitely let me know in the description. And um, I guess I'll just catch you guys in the next one. So... That is it. Thank you guys again for 100 subs, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!